Hey everyone, Kelsey here and welcome back to Gal. Today, you're going to learn how to create this really cool 3D fly through text, like the cameras going through the text. And actually this was suggested by one of my patrons who saw this effect done on the TV series Blind Spot and I thought it was a great idea. Now this effect is actually easier than you'd expect. First of all, you just need to get a drone shot, whether you fly your own drone and get the shot or you get it as a stock video clip like I did, the key is that it has steady forward motion. And that way in After Effects, we can track using the 3D tracker to find a plane that we can attach the text to and then make the text 3D. So of course I'm going to break down each step, but if you want to download the final project file to see how I did it, you can become a patron and I put a link just down below. Before we jump in, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Motion Can. Motion Can's graphics pack on Envato Market is the must have graphics pack for every video editor. I've made a full tutorial on this pack already calling it the best graphics pack in Premiere Pro, but it's also available for After Effects as well as Final Cut Pro users. And we're doing a giveaway. So leave a cool comment below and I will pick my top five favorite comments and you will get a free license of the pack. But better yet, for this pack, there's going to be a huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. So starting on the 23rd, you can get 40% off of this pack. A few more things about this pack that I love is that it's completely responsive to any resolution. Also, when you drag and drop a transition or a title and you extend the duration in or out, the animation is responsive to those changes and the transitions come with sound effects. So you can learn more about the pack by using my link down below. And if you purchase the pack with my link, it helps support the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into After Effects and show you how to create this 3D fly through text. So the first step here is to right click on your footage and create a new comp from the selection. This will create a new composition with your footage inside. Then this is very important. You need to make sure you go to the hamburger menu and go to composition settings, go to the 3d renderer and make sure that it's set to cinema 4d because this will allow you to extrude the text later on to make it 3d. And if you want it to perform faster for now, you can always reduce the quality to one, which is what I've done. And you can always go back and change that later on. All right. So hit okay. And now we can go to the tracker panel and press track camera. And what this is going to do is analyze the entire shot and create a series of 3D tracking points from which we can then apply text to as well as a 3D camera. Now this will take longer than other clips if the clip is in a 4K or 8K resolution and it'll take longer depending on how long the clip is. But if it's just for an opening title shot, it's probably only gonna be about 10 or 15 seconds or so. So it shouldn't take that long. And once it's done analyzing in the background, it'll go to solving the camera. So I'll just wait here. If it's taking a long time, you can always go and grab a cup of coffee or something. And um, when you get back, you'll see all the tracking points. All right, so here you can start to see these little tracking points. If I hover over it, you get this little target visual that's kind of basically saying where the text is going to lay against. So if you do it on the wall here, it'll lay against the wall of the building. Now, if it's hard to see, you can go to effect controls and you can see the effect that was applied was a 3D camera tracker. Here, you can increase the track size. So here I will increase it to 300% so you can better see the track points. And for this one, I'm going to get a nice spot on the ground. So this point right here is the moment that I'm choosing because I want it to be exactly parallel to the ground. I'm going to click and it will create three points. And then this is what you do. You right click, create text and camera. So now when we play it back, you can see the text is pretty much glued to the ground and completely tracked. We just need to adjust the position and what we want the text to say and then add some 3D depth to that. So to update the text orientation, if you click on this, you'll now see that we have these controls, the X, the Y, and the Z axis, and the XZ. The reason we have this is because we made sure in the composition settings that we had Cinema 4D applied. If you also open up the text layer, you'll see that underneath transform, there's the X, Y, and Z controls, which is useful to know. So what I'm going to do first is use the X rotation, the red circle here to prop this up. And so now it's standing up. Now we can use the Y to rotate it around. 
and the z-axis to rotate it like a teeter-totter until it's parallel to the ground. It may not be perfect, but you can play around with this. And then the x and z, if you push this back, it'll push it back into space and you can bring it also forward. So I think about right here is fine. And then of course I can rotate the y a little bit more. You can always go back and you know play around with the text. If you go, just select the text layer, you can click and you can actually pull it up. So it's kind of floating like in that original shot from Blind Spot, the TV show. Just going to rotate it a little bit more. That's looking good. And now of course you can update the text to be anything. You can click and let's just call it 3D, 3D for this. And I will update it to extra bold is fine. I might increase the font a little bit. I think that's just fine. So you can play around with the character parameters if you like. Next, let's make it 3D. So from the text layer, open this up, go to geometry options. And here we can add some depth. So if we increase the depth, you'll see some depth happening here. But remember, we need to add some light to be able to see the shadows and the texture. So right now we added depth, but we didn't add any light, so you can't see much here. You can also play around with the bevel depth once we add some lights. If you wanna create 3D text with like different lights with different colors and add more texture, you can check out my tutorial up here to get to know 3D text a little bit more. But first we need to create some lights. So let's right click, go to new light. And for the first one, I'm going to create an ambient light, which will just create a general light over the 3D text and hit okay. And now we need to create a spotlight which will start to add dimension. So right click new light and let's choose spot. And I'm going to choose 80%, but you can always change this later. And then I'm also going to make sure cast shadows are on and press okay. Now the light was placed way far back. So we need to move this light kind of like we move the text just before using these 3D controls. So make sure that you're using the selection tool by pressing V on your keyboard as well. And let's move this light back up here. And we can also change the point of interest. So we can move this until we get in the right spot, maybe up here on the right. And then I actually like to go down into the layer itself and go to the transform tools here. And here, point of interest, I wanna rotate the light. And now, oh, there we go. Now we can see some shadows happening move the X down, that's looking really good. So you can move the point of interest to be pointed at the text until it looks right for your scene. So I'm just adding one light that you can play around with, but you can also add another light, for example, just below to add some more texture. So you would just go through the same process and move the light until it looks right. For this scene, I'm just going to have one. So I'm going to close up this light here and now, this is really cool. Now you can see the text is literally floating in the scene and we're going through the letters. So if you're actually hitting one of the letters, remember you can you know, click on this text and you can move it. So that way when we go through it, it's like we're going exactly through the letters. And I think now I'm actually going to move the Y axis so it's more perpendicular to the road. And I think that looks a little bit better and the x-axis as well and that's looking pretty good so again it depends on you know the actual word that you're flying through because you might actually want to go through the letter o for example but i think this is really cool that we're flying through the text and if you want to have faster playback you can click on draft 3d and it actually shows you a graph on the sky so as we hit play here it's just a little bit faster playback and I don't know, I think it looks super cool. I love that fly through text. And what's so cool is it's just using the movement of the drone. We didn't have to do any animation or anything like that. And to top it off, we can also add some beveling like I was telling you before. So you go to the text layer, bevel style, and we can choose one of the bevel styles here. I'm going to choose convex and I'm going to make it, I don't know, maybe 0.7, maybe a little bit two less, let's try one. I think that looks good. 
and let's turn off draft 3D. And this is the final effect. So this effect is actually super easy to do because of the 3D tracker. Literally, it makes the text glued to that one spot. So you get to fly through it just using the movement of the drone. So if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to leave a funny or cool comment below so you'll get a chance to win Motion Can's graphics pack. Literally, I use at least five of their elements in all of my tutorials, the arrows, the transitions, the titles, they're so easy to use and they're responsive. So you'll definitely want a chance to win one. But if you don't win, you can always purchase the pack, especially during the Cyber Monday sale because you'll get 40% off. So my link down below is my affiliate link. If you use my link to purchase the graphics pack, it helps support the channel. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.